inflation is here to stay. It is here to stay. And the problem with inflation, this is my personal thing about it, it makes the rich richer, but it makes the poor poor. I mean, literally poor. And then the middle class gets hit the hardest. And the thing that concerns me is, and revolution starts when the poor can't survive. Because, you know, like when you go to the store and a piece of celery is 20 bucks and today it's oil. So the question today is, what do you do? How do you hedge against what's coming? Because when Biden, you know, when the economy Biden cut off the XL pipeline, the price of oil went through the roof. I was buying oil at $30 a barrel or selling oil at $30 a barrel and then it went to $130 a barrel. So I got really rich, but it wipes out everybody else. And that's why then Biden has the guts to blame Putin for it. <laughs> Wait a minute, you're the guy that cut off the pipeline. This guy Biden is a criminal. And if you understand how the dollar is created, you'd be at Vancouver because 1944, the US dollar became the reserve currency of the world. And they'll always print, the system is flawed. This is our time. And so ladies and gentlemen, this is not a political show. We're not CNN and we're definitely not Fox, but we better start paying attention. So that's why I wanted to have Jay Martin on here because he's in the heart of resource country, which is Vancouver, British Columbia. It's time, if you're not paying attention, if you're still riding the default mode, it's time to start paying attention and taking control because exactly what you just said, right? If we thought consumer inflation has been bad and caused you know disgruntled civil unrest, just wait until we see food and fuel riots in the streets. And I've never been a doom and gloom guy. That's not what I am. I'm an investor. I'm looking to make money. I think the rest of the 2020s will be like the first two years of the 2020s, right? Unprecedented is the new precedented. And this is just getting started. Correct. And we both have some really stellar leaders. You have Trudeau and we have Biden. <laughs> I mean, the communist way is to kill many people as possible. I'm a Vietnam veteran and I saw Vietnamese killing Vietnamese. And that's just not part of our psyche. But the trouble with communism or what you can see in the Ukraine, they'll shell housing, they'll shell women and kids and all this. They don't care. You know, it's murder in my book, but as a US Marine, that would, we go to jail for that. But the communist system is, it's okay to murder your fellow human being. And so that's why it's dangerous, but more than so, other than just that, how do you protect yourself from them killing us in our wallets? What Biden's doing and Trudeau's doing, they're a bunch of hardcore communists, they may not know it, but what they're doing is making it really tough on the poor and middle class, aren't they? Yeah, 100%. And that communist manifesto is always sold under the guise of community and togetherness and we're going to have each other's back. And any student of history knows that's never how it goes. And repeatedly, it's sold to the public and the public accepts it. Isn't that wild? How many times do we need to learn this lesson? But we're going that direction and it's, it's somewhat horrifying. And so what do you do, right? My answer is optionality. I need options, right? And so whether that's stores of wealth and a variety of safe haven asset classes, I'm heavy gold, silver, Bitcoin, I'm heavy real estate. But beyond that, you know, we're optioning our US passports. I'm Canadian American, my family's dual, right? And I want the optionality of a couple of geographies, to be honest with you. Right, I'm an oil guy, I own lots of oil. And like I said, we were selling it for 30 bucks a barrel, then it went to 100, I think three days, 105 a barrel. So I'm making a lot of money. It was $70 to fill up my tank today. That's so ridiculous. It's <laughs> double what it was a few years ago. And the way, I don't know if you know this, but oil provides fertilizer. And fertilizer is what keeps the crops growing. So you're going to see food prices climb and then the, the cost of getting the food to the supermarkets and all this. It just gets to be worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And so that's when Biden cut off the pipeline. He made me a rich man. He blames Putin for it. I'm going, what? These guys are cartoons. They're jokes. Yes. I mean, how much oil and gas actually makes it to the U.S. from Russia? It's less than 10 percent, right? And the U.S. has lots of options to produce more natural gas and oil. Biden has cuts it off here. He's cutting our oil supply. I mean, I produce oil, so I'm not concerned at all. But he cut the production of America down. The biggest problem is for the last few years, all wars are about oil. You know, Hmm. what happened to uh, Pearl Harbor? They bombed Pearl Harbor because Roosevelt cut off oil. Yeah. And they said, you, you screw you, we're going to bomb you. So I watch what's happening in the Ukraine, and then Biden goes to Saudi Arabia. And then this was the biggest thing of all, Jay. I don't think anybody saw it. Saudi Arabia agreed to sell China oil and mm-hmm. trade in the yuan, the Chinese yeah. currency. I don't like the direction things are going, but I don't know of a currency that holds more influence on the global stage or that will. I don't think people know the history of the dollar. It's a petrodollar. The U.S. Yeah. dollar... Mm-hmm is what everybody trades, not only in food and stuff like that, but they traded oil in dollars. The moment that they start accepting yuan, I mean, why doesn't Biden, I, mean, I guess his family does work for the Chinese government, don't they? 
But the point here is this, is what are you going to do about it? I just took a position, one of the largest gold mines in the world, in world history. And I'm very bullish on gold. You know, we have control of tons of gold, not just ounces. And because to me, gold has been money since God came around. Gold and silver are God's money. Bitcoin is people's money. And so sure. that's why I watch the dollar and I still see Americans saving dollars or Canadians. And I'm going, what the heck are people, are they nuts? If and when I hold cash, it's strictly to capitalize on opportunities, like you said, right? You're building a position in one of the world's largest gold mines for that reason. And I've been heavier cash over the last six months than ever before. And the reason was, Robert, I really struggled to find value anywhere, right? It was like, I'm heavyweight and continuing to buy gold and silver. If you can't find a deal and you're stacking with cash, because of course, Biden printed on how many trillions, they're printing so much cash. What is that going to do to real assets? Real estate's in a bubble, stock market's in a bubble. Where do mm -hmm. you put your cash? But I can start a gold mine. So I started several gold mines, several silver mines. And please, anybody who is into the stock market and real estate market right now, or even worse, somebody who believes in saving dollars or loonies, Canadian dollar or yen or pesos, I don't know if you understand here that they're printing trillions of it. And when Biden shut down the XL pipeline, I went, oh my God, that guy is a communist. Because when he shut down the pipeline, we knew inflation was going through the roof. And so anyway, we're talking about how do you play this because they're gonna keep printing money. They have to. I mean, I, I just can't imagine. So if you're saving dollars and we're in the biggest bubble of all times, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, biggest bubble, to me, the best investment is still silver, gold, and oil and mm. Bitcoin or crypto. There's one asset class that has survived the rise and fall of hundreds of empires and thousands of market cycles, and that's gold. And yes, I'm bullish Bitcoin, but it hasn't proven itself in all sorts of environments yet, right. whereas gold has always retained its value. Well, right? gold is God's money. It was put here by God, same as silver. I do know it's on the periodical chart of elements. In the next 50 to 100,000 years, resources will always be a play. Like Russia is one of the biggest resource producers, so is China. And Canada, Vancouver, British Columbia is a major resource producer. I'm extremely rich man today, extremely. Oh. And I have oil and I'm getting richer every time Biden opens his stupid mouth. But resources is how the rich get richer. This is the bad side, the poor get poorer too, big time. Years and years ago, 25 years ago, I was one of those guys standing there with my little junior mine. And I hit two, I hit one in Argentina and I hit one in China. And that little Chinese mine turned into the biggest mine in Chinese history. Uh, for about a good year, I was a I was a billionaire just from this one mine in China. And the Chinese said, thank you very much. <laughs> so I stopped eating Chinese food after that. <laughs> and what happened to you is a very common story, right? You know, and I think more so now than ever, you gotta look at the geopolitical risk. And uh, I'm glad my little uh, Argentine mine is still kicking off silver, so that's working well. They didn't take that yet. And Jay just said a very important point here is it's called geopolitical. I call it country risk. So if somebody says, well, the mine is in Iran, I'd say, well, I'll pass. So yeah, but it's the biggest in the world. I said, I'll still pass. And that's yeah. how you get educated because resources, given that inflation is gonna be here to stay, resources are gonna be your best and best investment, but it's also, in my opinion, the highest risk. Yeah. That's the highest risk there is. I was out there in Vancouver in the 80s and 90s. It was just the best education I ever had. And right. what's making me such a pessimist on Biden and the Treasury and the Fed is what I learned in Vancouver. And it was a really exciting time because gold, oil, and silver are real money. It's resources are real money. If you understand that, resources are the next biggest investment. China's buying oil from Saudi Arabia and Yuan is a big move to me. It's huge. Mm. It means China saying F U US dollar. That's what it means to me. And mommy and daddy are still out there trying to save a few dollars, you know, work harder, get a pay raise for 15 bucks an hour. They're completely out of touch with what's going on in the world. When Biden is in charge and the way the dollar is set up, the dollar always loses money. It's, it's called Triffin's Dilemma. If you're the reserve currency of the world, the dollar always loses value because debt always goes up. So the Fed has to keep printing. The Treasury has to keep printing. The rich don't work for money. Rich don't save money because the dollar is fake. The US dollar is fake. All currencies are fake. That's how I think today.